If the drama and excitement of the inaugural round of the Speed Car Pro Series was the entree of what was to come, then round two at Quick Collie Speedway surely delivered the main course in a night that was full of incidents. On the opening lap of the sixth and final heat, South Australian Todd Bennett and local driver Blake Mills both flipped over, bringing on the red lights. Aggressive move from Andy Pearce up on the inside there. He outdoes Vaughan Manders' problem. Contact Bennett. And also Blake Mills is up and over off camera. There's Mills. He was pushed into the wall. He flipped too. So two cars crashing out of heat number six. Bennett's car landed awkwardly, which left the youngster being tended to by the medicos. After being taken to hospital for a thorough examination, he was later released. That incident was not the last of the night. The 30-lap A-man got off to a horrifying start when Vaughan Manders flipped on turn two of the opening lap. Schumann, race leader, down the back straight the first time. The snarling pack of speed cars in pursuit of the 38 car, but he has an advantage of a couple of car lengths. We've had an issue here. Vaughan Manders, a nasty crash on the back straightaway. I think he bumped wheels with Mears, and here's Mears now with a fairly clear onboard shot. And there's Manders, bang. They exchange paint, and Manders goes flying into the concrete wall. Whilst the rollover looked fairly soft, Manders was feeling some discomfort after the car landed on the concrete wall. He was taken to hospital for observation and was later discharged with nothing more than a stiff neck. At the race restart, it was Pennsylvanian Casey Schumann who led the field away, chasing his first speed car win on Australian soil. Also searching for glory was fellow American Steve Buckwater, but his night would only last five laps before he too joined the Upside Down Club. Casey Schumann, he's been in good touch in this tournament during the early stages, leading in the 38 car, Looking the goods, Neville Lance second, and we've got a problem with Buck Walter, one of the four Americans here tonight. He's up and over. I think I just caught it there, Dave, where he uh, caught the cushion really hard, biked it up and, and slapped the car over. As the race resumed, Schumann led away from Australian champion Neville Lance, round one winner and fellow American Alex Bright, and expat Victorian Mark Brown. One thing you do notice with Casey Schumann is how straight he drives the car, especially on the exit to the turn. He's very, very smooth compared to some of the other guys and I guess, uh, you know, just tries to work on keeping the car going forward. I think that's a big deal with these midgets, Sammy. The, the cars, to get your momentum going, you've got to be straight, you've got to be forward and not burn the tyres off. Despite Lance's best effort to wear down Schumann's patience and shoot past him for the lead, Schumann was just too good for his opposition. He would comfortably take out round two from Lance and Bright, with Brown in fourth and Western Australian Lee Redmond in fifth. A front row start, and he has driven away from his rivals. A great performance by Casey Sherman as the checker unfold, unfold drum at the Collie Speedway. That's easy for me to say. As the president of Speedcar's peak body in this country, Victorian Andy Pearce is handling the pressures placed upon him as the boss of Speedcar's Australia with a mix of enthusiasm and dedication. Having occupied the presidency role for four seasons, Pearce has helped nurture and revitalise the category across the country with growing car numbers in most states. His most proud achievement to date is the establishment of the Speedcar Pro Series in conjunction with Speedway Australia. Such as his dedication to the role of president, Pierce has consolidated his support of the Pro Series as a contracted driver contesting all rounds. And he firmly believes the establishment of this new tournament is a step in the right direction for speakers in Australia. Yeah, definitely. I think everyone who comes and competes in a round will see the professional professionalism of it. Um, and yeah, I can only see it going, getting bigger and better from here on. As Speedcars Australia president, what do you foresee as the future of speed car racing in Australia? Um, that's a, it's definitely growing. We've had a steady growth in, in all states um, over the last few years and hopefully that, that continues to grow. Car numbers is what makes you strong and our numbers are getting bigger so it can only go upwards from here. For Pierce, speed car racing has been a major influence in his life. He is the son of Wayne Pearce, who was a multiple Victorian champion in both speed cars and compact speed cars, 
and his father-in-law is former sprint car frontrunner Ian Lewis, who was affectionately known to his fans as The Fly. Along with his day-to-day -day commitments as Speedcars Australia president, Piers has proven to be a handy driver in his home state. He has won many feature races and has won the Avalon Raceway and Murray Bridge Speedway Track Championships for his class, as well as winning the Southern Speedcar Tour back in season 2011-12. As one of two contracted drivers in the Pro Series from Victoria, Piers is fiercely proud to represent the Garden State. Yeah, for sure. That's where I've uh, grown up and lived there my whole life. So uh, we're proud to be flying, flying the flag for the Victorians. How did you first develop a love for speed car racing? Uh, well, I'm second generation. My dad dad raced speed cars and, and also my, my father-in-law is a speed car racer before he moved on to sprint cars. Um, so it's always been, a, been in the blood. And you've driven uh, not only just speed cars, but of course the compact speed cars uh, as well, where you did enjoy a uh, a rivalry with uh, the now brother-in-law uh, Travis Mills. Yeah, yeah. I started in compact speed cars. My dad thought that'd be a good training ground, and and yeah, my, my brother-in-law Travis uh, started in them as well, and we raced together in them for a few years, but, and we both moved on to speed cars together. The family connection in the sport extends to his brother-in-law Travis Mills, who is also contesting the series as a contracted driver. Whilst there is no love lost on the track. Pierce is being coy as to who will win the family battle when the Pro Series concludes a Premier Speedway in Warrnambool. Uh, time will tell. It, it, that's a hard one. We've, we've still got quite a few rounds to go. So, um, yeah, you never know. We'll, we'll just keep plugging away and doing what we're doing and the results will sort themselves out at the end. Now, you are a little bit of a family man uh, away from the track behind the scenes, uh, Andy. Of course, a young family. Uh, we did catch up with uh, your other half as well previously, and we hear you make a pretty mean spag bowl, although you don't really make it enough. <laughs> Apparently, oh, I like spag bowl. It's, uh, yeah, that's my signature dish at home, so whenever that, that comes on the menu, I'm the one that gets thrown in the kitchen. Oh, come on, mate. Well, when, when's the next time you're going to spoil your wife and, and make some more for her? Um, she's actually not all that keen on it, although it is good. She, she's not a real spag person, so I end up having to eat it all myself. Although the Speed Car Pro Series is in its debut season, the competition across the board has been incredibly tough. And Piers believes that as the series develops, the competition will only get tougher. Um, I've just found um, that the competition is, is really tough. It's really hard to get up the front. You've got to make sure you qualify well, do well in your heats to get a good position. You've got to, got to get yourself in a good position for the main. Uh, if you want to be up the pointy end, it's, it's no walk in the park. That's for sure.